Lubavitch Rebbe Alava Shalom, his yard site was just, I believe, yesterday. And it was a fantastic story that I heard about him from my Rebbe today that gives us a little bit of perspective of when you're supposed to pray. One Chabadni comes to the Rebbe many years ago and he says, Kvodarav, listen, they're having a big kinnis, a big, uh, you know, uh, speech of all these big rabbis and from all over the world, they're bringing people from, uh, from Europe, from this, from that, and for America they invited me. I'm not at the level of these big rabbis, but they invited me to speak. And they not only invited me, they invited me to speak as the main keynote speaker after the biggest rabbi in the world. So the Babichir Rabbi says to him, Chazakudol, good for you. He goes, uh, I don't know what to say. What am I going to say in front of all these big rabbis? He says, this is what you say. And he starts, tells him, listen, the Rambam says, Alakha X, Y, Z. But the Rambam himself, in a different book, he contradicts himself. But this is why. And he starts explaining to him the whole journey from how the Rambam got from here to the other one. And then he mentions all of the other Chachamim that have mentioned this Alakha. Literally gives him the lecture from A to Z. The guy is so happy. I just got a speech from the Lubavitcher Rebbe, Shtabach Shimo. Wow! Ezi Yofi. Imagine, you have a speech from one of the biggest rabbis in the world. It can't go wrong. So he goes to the Kenes, he goes to this big event. Hundreds and hundreds of people, big rabbis, small rabbis, middle rabbis, all types of rabbis are there. Now, they invite the main speaker, the, and he starts talking. And the Shabadnik, his, whole, his eyes grew dark. Why? Everything he's saying is written in his paper. Rebbe gave him the lecture also like a copy everything he's saying he's saying and he said I have nothing to say I have nothing to say what am I going to say to these people he said Mama's word for word word for word he said do, 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 do. everything and the guy me scared the poor guy is eating his heart out he doesn't know what to say what am I going to say thousands of people are here I'm going to embarrass myself I'm sorry Rabotai. I have nothing to say because you can't just tell them, listen, guys, you know, you should have emunah in Hashem, and you should tell your, 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 your keilah to keep Shabbat. These are rabbis. You have to give them something special. He doesn't know what to say. And he hears this, the big rabbi saying everything word for word, but then he stops in the middle. And he says, I'm sorry, I can't continue. I don't feel well. Please. I really apologize, everyone. I have to sit down. So the, the MC comes up. He goes, hey, Rabotai, I'm sorry, the rabbi can't continue anymore, but we'll have our next speaker come up and speak for us. The Chabadni comes up, and it couldn't be better. It couldn't be better. Why? Everybody is saying, wow, we had such a great speech. We're left in the middle, like at the climatic event. Right at the most highlight event, it stopped. He couldn't speak anymore. And like, wow, we really want to know the answer. I wish we knew the answer. Then this guy says the rest of the speech. And everybody's like, wow, what a genius. Without preparation, he already knew what he's going to bring. And he finished the whole equation. Wow, they praised him. They recommended him. He became the most famous rabbi. So then the rabbi actually said that they had the speech. He told a story, and uh, I believe in Israel, just this uh, maybe last few days. And my Rebbe heard it, and he says, whether the Lubavitcher Rebbe had Ruach HaKodesh that he knew this is going to happen or not, that's not my business. I don't know. All I know is that the darkness that I felt when he said everything that I was supposed to say was a feeling I never wanted before. But... Hashem also showed me that right before the biggest salvation in my life also came the biggest darkness. Right before the Yeshuat Hashem, right before the greatest thing that I've ever experienced in my life was also something that felt momentarily like the biggest embarrassment was about to happen. This Rabotai is the reason why a Jew is supposed to pray before the problem during the problem and after the problem. Now, 